Today is Sunday, October 6th. I'm Taylor Hernandez. Vanessa Vanette will have a first 20 forecast in a moment, but first up, here's your news to go. A Port St. Lucie man lucky to be alive after waking up in the hospital following a crash that almost turned deadly. That crash happened yesterday morning. Police say a 48 year old man crossed the intersection of Southeast Walton Road and Main Street when he wasn't supposed to. That is when police say he was hit by a car. The man sustaining life threatening injuries and is currently being treated at Longwood Hospital. There is a new hate crimes task force in Palm Beach County. It was created by the state attorney's office because of an increase in this kind of crime committed in Florida. These are crimes motivated by race, religion or sexual orientation. These are some of the organizations participating on your screen. They include um, the Anti-Defamation League of Florida, among others. The hate crimes task force held its first meeting last week. The Florida Department of Health in Palm Beach County advising residents to be cautious of blue green algae in five different locations surrounding Lake Okeechobee. Residents and visitors encouraged not to drink, swim or come in close contact with water where blue green algae is visible. The DOH also advising against eating any shellfish in water with algae blooms. Vanessa. And the latest advisory on her on tropical storm Milton sustained winds of 50 miles per hour and it will be tracking towards the northeast in the next couple of days and impacting South Florida, even Central Florida on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. High rain chances starting today, continuing until Thursday morning. Things will be looking much better by the end of your work week with warm highs in the 80s.